Once upon a time, on a tiny desert planet, a queen and king lived a very boring life. From the top of their lonely kingdom, they stared enviously at the wonderful planet Earth, where animals and nature had been living in harmony for millions of years. The queen, bored to death, dreamed of only one thing, living on the Earth. The king, who wanted to make her happy, built a spaceship in order to reach the planet. After a long, long, long trip, they landed in a very pretty green meadow inhabited by wonderful wild animals. The animals, taking care of their new guests, offered them everything they needed. Wood to build the house, food and water. So the king and queen built their castle. For a short time they were happy. But one day, the greedy king was no longer satisfied with what they had. He cut down more and more trees, killed more and more animals, dug deeper and deeper. And so, step by step, the mother nature was violated by humans' endless greed. Factories polluted the water, skyscrapers pierced the sky, quarries devoured the earth, and oil wells blackened the sea. Even the air became unbreathable. After so many years of exploitation, the exhausted nature decided to fight back. The trees refused to give the fruits. The insects did not work anymore, and the rain stopped falling. What a bloody battle it was. The trees streamed with lifeblood, and petrol flooded the land. A merciless war. There was a mess everywhere. Earthquakes destroyed cities. Tsunamis submerged coasts. The wind tore out all harvest, and the insects attacked all the buildings. Even the volcanoes awakened. However, in the south of France, a small village was still resisting its invaders. In a cul-de-sac in Lumini, close to Marseille, an island of hope remained. The city of Marseille and the nature signed an agreement to create the park of the Calangs. As a result, the city occupied a space in the heart of this park to show their goodwill between them. Nevertheless, nature still doubted the good intentions of the city. They will surely build luxury hotels, amusement parks, or even seaside resorts, and we will end up being destroyed once again. Finally, the city promised to the nature not to cross the border and to remove any traces of its existence. The nature, convinced of the city's goodwill, gave it a high five and went together to Viewport to drink a pastis. They got married and lived happily till the end of the days. To be continued.